And welcome back to Talk of the Town. We have two very special guests here today with us. They are two of the authors of this phenomenal book, Gullah Days, Hilton Head Islanders Before the Bridge, 1861 to 1956. We have Carolyn Grant and we have Thomas Barnwell. The other author, Emery Shaw Campbell, could not be with us today because we only could have room for two guests, but welcome. It's so Thank you. good Thank to you. have you. This you. book was released in January, this past January, and um, first of all, I was sharing with you, Carolyn, it, I just love the presentation, the colors, the, um, the photographs, and most importantly, the story. Yes. The story of the Gullah people in this area. So let's begin with why is that so important to tell? Carolyn, do you want to start? Yes, I'll start. Well, uh, it was important to tell because it's a story that's sort of kind of all over the place. There are a lot of people that have are, been writing. Right, there's so much <coughs> here and there, yeah. and it's like, what is the real story? story yeah, so people have been writing about um, Gullah people in this area, and what made our book different is the fact that it was actually written by Native right. Islanders, Gullah The two of Gullah you, people, both yeah. Native and Islanders. Emory, um, <laughs> we're all within four and fifth generation wow. Islanders. Okay. And then a lot of our stories in the book have been told by descendants of enslaved people right. Um, right. and Native Islanders. So that's... That's what's really different and it's all in one place. You know, all in one place, yes. And how is a book laid out? Do we begin with it each year or is it laid out by story by story? How, how is it organized? We have it organized from the beginning. Okay. So we're in 1861. 1861. Okay. We, we start there, and we kind of weave it all the way through 1956 from the from before the bridge. Before the so bridge. So it's told. It's told in, in, in different different periods. Chronologically. Yes. Right. So Thomas, why did you want to be part of this venture? Because uh, I am a part of the history. <clears throat> Because of my grandparents, my great-grandparents, my great-great-grandparents, they were uh, contrabands hmm. that came to Hilton Head Island. Yeah. And they came by bateaus. Right. And they settled at a place called Mitchellville. Yes. Yes, I've been there, yes. And it is extremely important for this story, as Ms. Grant said, to be told because you will not find the reality of what's in this book mm -hmm. in any history books. Okay. And it is extremely critical for not just the 2.5 tourists that comes to Hilton right. Head. 2.5 million. 2.5 million, right, right. That's 2.5 million, thank, right, you. Right. <laughs> million. thank right. you. That comes to Hilton Head to visit. But it's important for Native as well as educators. Teachers. Teachers. The children, our yes, children. It's important for <clears throat> the total South Carolina and yes. beyond population Very good. to know about the, this story. So how long did it take you to, to, to write this, to put this together, Carolyn and Thomas? Well, we actually started well over 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Um, very long <laughs> time ago. But um, we all, we, each of the authors, we all wanted to share the very same story. So we had the same goal in mind, is to make sure people were aware of our history. So Thomas and Emery actually um, probably got a little bit involved before me because yes. um, I always tell people the book ends at 1956 before the bridge, <laughs> right. and I came afterwards. <laughs> right. so, Are you saying you were born after 1956? <laughs> yeah. I'm just teasing you. So, um, so they had an opportunity yes. to start actually participating Wonderful. with some interviews back in the 70s. Wow. Um, wow. And capturing stories from elder members of the community at that time. Very and good. so, you know, here I came right. in years later and you know when we realized we wanted to do the same thing we kind of picked up on those interviews um, and started talking to people and capturing a lot of the stories um, wonderful before people passed away yes that's right yeah. that's right now our time is up unfortunately but I did want to share with everyone that on February 27th there is going to be a book signing 
at the Coastal Discovery Museum. Right. Carolyn, you will be there. I will be there. And Thomas, yeah. you will be there. And Emory so, will be there and as Emory. well. So, and it's at 3 o'clock, and people can ask even, you know, many, many more questions. The most important thing is you can get this at Sonesta. You can get it through the publisher. You can get it at the Coastal Discovery Museum. Again, gala days. Hilton Head Islanders before the bridge. And each of our ancestors played a major part Role in all of that in this writing this story story uh, thank you so much Thomas and Carolyn I appreciate your work and um, bringing this to our community our tourists but our our islanders that are here now today and we'll, we'll be please. right back thank with you. talk of the town thank you